See, our hearts are deceitful, every single one of them in every single one of us. And the only way that our hearts are ever changed is if they are confronted and if they are exposed. The issue is that our hearts can only be exposed if our flesh is confronted and if our faith is tested. That means that every trial and every test, even every temptation, is God working to show us what's in us so that He can then do the work of giving us what's in Him. See, if we won't acknowledge what's living in us, how can we ever receive what God has prepared for us? If we won't let Him expose so that He can remove, so that He can change, what makes us think that we're ever going to be ready to be filled with the Spirit if we won't acknowledge that we're already filled with the flesh? We have to go back to Jesus' teachings and remember that no one puts new wine in an old wineskin. And so if we won't acknowledge that we are a bit old, that we are a bit worn, that we are a bit inflexible, that we are a bit stubborn in our own ways, there's no way for the Spirit to come and fill us so that He can lead us and guide us. Because before we go anywhere by the Spirit, we have to be changed by the Spirit. Jesus said, you are a stumbling block to me. I think sometimes we get caught up and get behind me, Satan, and we don't even hear the rest of what Jesus said. But hear it tonight. You are a stumbling block to me. A stumbling block sounds a, light, a lot like an obstacle. An obstacle sounds a lot like a hill, doesn't it? Peter's heart was in Jesus' way. Can you imagine such a thing? That Peter's heart was in Jesus' way. You are a stumbling block to me. How many times has my heart become a stumbling block to the will of God? How many times has my heart gotten in the way of the work, of the plan, of the will of God? How many times has Jesus had to rebuke me because I trusted my heart more than I trusted His Word?